Hello, in this video, we're going to go over how we can get from cinematics to gameplay seamlessly. This happens in games such as God of War and The Last of Us. To get started, you first want to create a simple cinematic. To do this, I'm just going to click on this camera icon. This will allow me to quickly create a level sequence. I'll just click add level sequence. It's going to ask me where I want to save this. I'm just going to create a new folder and call it cinematics. I will go inside this folder and I'm just going to save this as my new level sequence. Then if we just open it up, it will open up our sequence here. We can use this tool to create cutscenes in an Android engine. When working with this, I like to see um, everything in seconds. So I'm just going to go here and then if we go show time as seconds, this will basically make um, the sequence to show everything in seconds. Next, let's add a camera so you can basically record a cinematic. A quick trick, if I just go here in my viewport and I click these three little arrows and I go click camera here and set camera actor, it will click the camera actor exactly here. The next thing you're going to do is just add this um, camera to our sequence here so you can record a cut scene. I'm just going to select it and go track and go add it to sequence and just have add camera. I'm just going to click this little eject. This will make me stop piloting the camera. Whilst clicking that mode, you can kind of move the camera to where you want it to be. And then what the camera is selected, if you just scroll down and just uncheck constrain aspect ratio, that'll make it have the full resolution. Now we're going to be basically blending this camera from gameplay to a cinematic. So just leave the first second line. Then I'm just going to track this camera. So I'm just going to track it transform. Then I'm going to go all the way to 7.4. Then I'm just going to use the camera a bit. And I'm also just going to rotate it. And then I'm just going to track this transform. So this is my simple um, cinematic. Then to basically make this blend from gameplay to cinematic, just select this camera effects, right click and go cam blend. Now if I just scroll up, they're going to be these um, little arrows. So it's here. If I just drag it, this will blend from my camera. To the cinematic, so this one at the start, and we also want to do this at the end. So I'm just going to jump from here to here. And to test this out, um, just make sure that your new level sequence is somewhere in your um level. If it's not, you can just simply drag it in with the content drawer. So let's to my content drawer cinematics. I can just drag this in. And uh, now to test this out, so I'm just going to click on here and open up my level blueprint. Then in some free space, if we just right click. And look for event begin play. Then just close this and select your um, level sequence. Then go back to the level play. To then begin play, just have a delay of let's say three seconds. Then just right click. And if you selected your um, cinematic, you should see a reference to it here. So just click it. Then just drag off here and look for play. Sequence player and connect from completed into. So after three seconds, it's going to play my cutscene. We can just compile this. And now if I go play, I can play my game. And then after three seconds, we can see it will smoothly transition from my camera to the cinematic. Then it will smoothly transition back. Nice. And then one more trick I just want to show you. If we open up our level sequence, if we just scroll down, maybe you want it so the player is not moving when they're in the cinematic. So we can just click disable movement and disable look input. And now if I go play and my cinematic's playing, the player is not going to be able to move. So you may want that. And that's how to basically make a cinematic, which transitions simply from a cinematic to a gameplay and from gameplay to a cinematic. That's all for this video. And if you want to learn even more about how to get cinematics, it's like a camera engine. I highly recommend you check out my cinematic course. You'll be able to find it somewhere in the link in the description of this video. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.